Hello. Well, I'm uh, here to hopefully make a quick video about um, something I made uh, last week, uh, referring to Criterion and Filmstruck, and um, how um, hopefully they would have a um, uh, be able to make some sort of service again with like a streaming service to help. Um, reach more people with the many films they have in their library. Um, be with TCM or something, you know. Well, not long after I made that video, news began to pop up that <laughs> Criterion is making its own independent streaming service. And um, you can become a charter subscriber uh, if you go now and sign up. And I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, for this, and uh, it has a little thing to talk about all the stuff you can expect, and um, it will come out in uh, spring 2019, um, March, I believe. You can read the announcement here. Yeah. Yes, uh, and you can become a charter subscriber here, and um, but yes, in uh, spring of 2000. 19, the Criterion, whoops, the Criterion channel hmm, uh, will be uh, picking up where the <clears throat> old service left off, you know, the old being filmstruck. And uh, just go through it real quick. Um, it's a freestanding service. And um, trying to make something just a little different for the past two years, uh, movie loop. A movie lover's dream service with smart thematic programming where the history of cinema can live and breathe. Here, new generations of filmmakers and film lovers can explore classics or reveal or revel in rarities uh, where adventure, adventurous cinephiles can champion films never gotten their due, and newcomers can easily find uh, guidance for major filmmakers, top scholars. Curators and other experts of life, um, but yes, and it does have a link also to the other page, which I've clicked on. It will uh, go back to the original page, but I will actually, um, actually both uh, will be able to get you to the same place. But I want to read a little bit for those who may not have seen this or know much of it. Um, if you become a charter. Uh, you know, uh, subscriber. Um, what you'll get the benefits of a 30 day free trial, a reduced subscription fee for as long as you keep your subscription active, and a regular fee will be $10.99 a month or $100 a year. But as a charter subscriber, you'll pay $9.99 a month or eighty nine ninety nine uh, or basically ninety dollars a year so regular fee you'll pay eleven bucks and um, a charter subscriber will pay ten but if you want to do like an annual thing like a, a yearly uh, payment uh, it's either a hundred dollars or ninety um, concierge customer service from the criterion collection including customer ID and a special email address. A holiday gift certificate present for those on the Criterion Collection website. Charter subscriber membership card and a satisfaction knowing you're keeping the best films alive and available. I myself have done this and um, I got an email in that they will um, be uh, contacting me soon for more you know, information about uh, about this, uh, probably setting up the account more and all that, so that when it comes time, you'll be able to. I'll be able to access it, and hopefully they'll be able to learn from some of the stuff that uh, probably had a hand in the demise of Filmstruck. I hope they do uh, have an app for um, game consoles because many people have PlayStations and or Xboxes, so people who uh, have such things will be able to, you know, 
have uh, that at ease, have it at the ready. Won't have to have like a f Amazon Fire Stick or any Amazon TV thing to hook up. Won't have to have any kind of um, uh, like a Roku or any other device or something. Um, you can just have your PlayStation or Xbox uh, plugged into your TV, and there you go. You can access uh, the Criterion channel and uh, see the various films they have. Um, and I'm curious if they'll actually have it set up similar to uh, Filmstruck, because even though I didn't uh, have a subscription, I had the app. And um, I was able to see what they did, and it seemed like there was like a sort of like a monthly thing where every month there'd be so many films in the Criterion section and the, um, in the uh, TCM section and what you could do is then like sometimes they'll have a theme for the month um, sometimes they'll honor a certain director uh, sometimes an actor so the works from uh, either section of uh, that service they would be able to have um, many films from said director there and even actors i believe they i saw them honoring actors at one point um so there you go um perhaps this uh interests you um hopefully it does um and i do hope uh apps will be on uh, playstation 4 an Xbox One. I have a PlayStation 4, so it'd be nice to have, you know, fairly easy access. Won't have to uh, get some other kind of device to hook into my TV in order to watch uh, the Criterion Channel. Um, but then again, it's uh, this is just being announced. There is many months until spring of 2019. Nothing is set in like um, nothing set in stone in that. Uh, major announcements of what exactly uh, you can where you can get this from that has yet to be announced I would assume uh, next year uh, probably January um, possibly February um, earliest I would say probably Christmas time but uh, they're just now announcing it I don't know how many major announcements will be made in the subsequent months until uh, spring, um, but yeah, um, so, uh, just look this over yourself, and, uh, if you think, uh, 1199 or a hundred dollars, or 1199 a month, or, no, 1099 a month, I'm sorry, you're paying 11 dollars, basically, or a hundred dollars a year, seems good for a regular fee, great, or if you, uh, <laughs> Want to pay ten ninety nine or ninety dollars a year, and you know, I get ten dollars a month. Great. Uh, hopefully, you will consider this if you are uh, you were a subscriber to Filmstruck, or if you're like me, you wanted to, but for one reason or another, you just never got it because um, you know uh, streaming services I have are on my uh, gaming console, so it's like. I really hope they uh, take in consideration game consoles uh, for applications. Um, be great. Uh, I think it would help grow uh, the customer uh, base, and also hopefully they promote it a bit more than Filmstrip was promoted because um, it seemed like unless you were a big fan of TCM or Criterion Collection, you were never going to really know about this. It was never going to be on your radar. Um, the only way it could and you were not a fan of either is if you had a friend who was very fond of either or both and talked about Filmstruck a lot. That would be the only way you would have been able to, you know, know about Filmstruck. So I feel a lack of promotion uh, had a hand in the demise of Filmstruck also. Um, many people who had it loved it, so uh, I think perhaps uh, wanting to get more uh, 
people into Filmstruck that had a hard they had a hard time because they didn't really promote it incredibly well um, to begin with uh, from just from my experience and uh, people who had no uh, clue what that was I talked to some people and they're like what's that and it's like uh, trying to explain it and uh, if they're not interested you know it's 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 a lost cause so it's like kind of useless um, but uh, hopefully they do promote it hopefully they promote it a lot better than before um, not exactly sure how they would do so but hopefully you know they can do that and um, even though War, uh, Warner Media or whatever the new uh, Time Warner, I'm just gonna call it Time Warner. It's what it's been for years. Uh, and the, the new name for me to me is stupid. So, but to, for Time Warner, uh, you know, new management came in, and that was essentially the official word as to really why um, Filmstruck was axed. Um, hopefully, promotion is done a lot better. Uh, I would like to see the Criterion Channel really succeed. And from uh, what it sounds like, they are going to also team up with Warner again. So <clears throat> maybe some of the titles that were on Filmstruck will also continue to be part of the Criterion uh, channel. Uh, that would be great. Um, again, don't know uh, at the moment. Uh, uh, that's just some things I've heard. Um, I've seen some people make videos about this also. I want to be one of those who tries to help push this forward. Um, again, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, if you like f old films, if you like films in general of various kinds, I hope you will truly consider um, uh, looking at the Criterion channel. Go to the link in the description and really give it a good look. Um, uh, especially if you were a Filmstruck fan, if you liked that service. Um, again, I didn't have it, but I would have liked to, but, you know, lack of it being on a game console kind of had its, you know, kind of prevented me of uh, being able to participate in um, in that uh, but you know hey I'm able to see other streaming uh, uh, services through there um, and I would ho like to add uh, the Criterion channel to that to, uh, with that um, Amazon and Hulu and Netflix <clears throat> Well, my voice is starting to go for some odd reason, but um, I hope you found this um, of interest, and um, yeah, please check the link, be a charter subscriber, if you really uh, find this interesting, um, more information will come out, you get an email, and uh, yeah. They will be in touch with you, and Criterion is very good. Um, I've emailed Criterion a couple of times asking questions about this title or that title possibly being on the, in the Criterion collection or coming back if it's been long out of print. Um, and they've always responded within a day or two or so, you know, within a few days. So they're very good at getting back to emails from my experience. Um, I'm sure they get many emails every day, so you know, the fact that they're able to get it to respond that fast is just incredible. Um, and it's not like some sort of automated thing. It's actually an actual person who reads your email and then answers your question accordingly, um, possibly to the best of their uh, abilities. You know, like if you're asking for an old title uh, to come back on maybe have a blu-ray release if it's just on DVD um, yeah you know and that DVD has been out long out of print like I mentioned how um Sid and Nancy you know I got this uh, from like eBay uh, uh, at a very decent price because many places you know this was really expensive because of how rare it is um, 
But at the time I emailed them about the possibility of this they, on Blu-ray, they, at that moment in time they had no plans, or at least no plans uh, in the works at that moment. Um, they did say they would have loved to, but you know, copyright and stuff, you know, licensing at least, no, yeah, licensing uh, that that expired. But then sometime later, uh, this came out. So if you have questions like that, they do answer and possibly <laughs> if you asked for some d old DVD to make a reappearance in the collection, new and updated with new features and possibly, you know, make it look and sound better than ever, um, that can happen sometimes. Uh, not always, but uh, again, they're very able, they're good at answering questions, they're good at giving you information that you might wonder about, and um, so yeah, you don't, uh, you don't have to worry, this is my experience too, so you don't have to worry, um, they're very reliable about getting back to people, so I would say within an hour or so I got an email, and I'm sure when they have a, a information about this, it'll get us, get at that out as soon as possible. And if you have any more questions about this service, I'm sure you'll get answers fairly quickly. Um, within the uh, possibly, um, you know, hours. Actually, I didn't get this an email, confirmation email, right off uh, an hour later. I don't know why I said that, but... <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. You know, after some time, after you sign up for something, you give the confirmation. And they'll let you know. Um, but yeah, you'll get, you'll you'll get notified, and they're very good. Uh, their customer service is excellent. So that alone, I think, uh, uh, helps uh, have continues to have it, give the Criterion Collection a good name. You know, they're very good at customer service, and um, they just make. Uh, uh, release great films and uh, great they put a lot of effort into the what they put in so hopefully uh, you'll really look into this uh, consider it and um, I hope this succeeds I hope more promotion happens and I hope as many people know about the Criterion Channel I just hope they know about it, and uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Otherwise, I'm going to be repeating myself. I don't think we need that. Um, this went a little bit longer than I expected it to, but you know, I kind of ramble. Plus, I also had other thoughts regarding promotion and stuff. So, uh, with that all said, I hope you all have a good day. I hope you all have a good week. Wish you all well, and I shall see you next time. Bye.